This is a short video about bad engineering from Alltech bucket trucks, or the lift itself, I should say, because the truck body is an international, and that was okay. So here we go. What I found disturbing is how cheaply made the fittings were on the high-pressure hoses. You would think something this critical would be made more durable. However, on my truck, I discovered almost right away after purchasing it that one of the outriggers uh, used uh, to stabilize the vehicle while the bucket is up was leaking fluid. I first tried to lower the multi-valve system with all its hoses attached, a total of six hoses. It can get pretty heavy. As you can see in the images, I used a screw jack to support things up until I could unbolt it all. It took some two days and lots of hours. Alltech idiot engineers, in their cute way of designing, decided to hide the nuts and bolts holding everything up to the rear platform. They welded a thin metal plate roughly an inch below the deck surface underneath. The plate had the four mounting holes pre-drilled in it. The way it is, it must have been difficult for the men in the factory because the nut were jam nuts that required some kind of bent half-inch box wrench to hold it while the bolt was in place. It's as if it took two men to secure the valve in place. The valve located close to the edge on one side and a stiffener on the opposite side made getting a wrench in there very difficult with my hand holding the wrench. Not even a small uh, lock grip pliers could fit in. The, the bolts and nuts were also heavily rusted adding to the mess. No thanks to Alltech. Anyway, after getting the valve body lowered, I still had much difficulty removing the defective fitting uh, from corrosion damages. Winter salt spray can play havoc on uh, metal surfaces, as we all know. I ended up having to remove all the fittings, all six of them, just so I could use the vice grip. What a nightmare. Shame on Alltech. As you can see, Alltech fittings have very thin walls, making them very dangerous uh, to use. Um, my repair fittings for a few dollars are like 500% tougher or more, and they did not need to have a bend in them. Here again, I understand Alltech was trying to make everything fit into a tight package, but they never consider the person in the field that has to make the repairs. I might also mention their repair manuals are shit too. Very difficult to understand. It's like they were made for someone building the system versus made for someone doing the repairs or maintenance. Like where is the filter or how to drain the system or what valves to shut off when doing repairs. None of that is in their stupid books. I almost forgot. After disconnecting the first fitting, I had a small drip. No big deal. I placed a bucket under it to catch the oil. Three days later, I added a fifth bucket. It drained something like 30 gallons of hydraulic fluid before almost stopping. I only replaced the one fitting. After reinstalling everything, I started it up and another one started to leak. That was it. All down again. This time I found a large gate valve hidden behind the hydraulic tank. With it shut, I was able to disconnect all the fittings this time and replace them with little fluid dripping. This time when I put it back, I uh, drilled four holes to match on the deck surface and bolted the valve body using three inch long bolts in the same place. The job went much quicker and easier and you can't even notice the bolts on top. Thank you for watching. Check out my latest book, Presidential Treason of Three Stooges and NAVC Condones Waste, Fraud, and Abuse. 
They're both available from Amazon. Also visit us at LarryandJane.com. Thank you again for watching.